Special Agent Gibbs. I'm Sergeant Gates, Atlantic City Police Department. You guys here to assist us? Other way around. Here you got a dead Marine reservist. That's NCIS jurisdiction. Works for me. This is Atlantic City. I got enough on my plate already. Happy to take second seat on this. Just make sure my office gets copies of all your findings. Done. What do you got? A robbery. And a big one. We got a dozen Florida retirees up for a week-long vacation. They were on the casino floor when it happened. None of them saw anything. All of them report hearing a blast and seeing everyone in the casino run for the front doors. No eyewitnesses to the actual robbery. Inside there, <laughs> we have a huge mess. You might just want to go see for yourself. Let's go. Well, hello there, Dirty Harry. Is that a 44 Magnum? Good eye. It was a gift from my father when I made sergeant. <laughs> he was on the force as well. Never know when you're gonna need to blow a hole in an engine block, huh? Didn't know so. On your six, boss. We got two dead guards. One was a Marine in the reserves. Dinozo, pictures. Don't forget the footprints. And see if Ducky or Ziva need help. On it, boss. Gibbs will want photos of the victims. Tony, would you also take a photo of the victim's sidearm? We need to move the body, but I'm afraid we will disturb the weapon if we do it before you take the photo. Sure, Doc. I should take a photo of this. Good catch. Thank you, Tony. Now I can get on with the rest of my work. These look like fingerprints. Better take a photo. Perfect. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Someone used this light switch after the blast. Why do you think that? There are clear prints in the dust on both sides of the switch. Look at that. Perfect. Bingo. Piece of cake. Ah, thank you, Tony. Just what I asked for. Now, if you would be so kind as to help me move this body, I would be most grateful. Ready, Tony? 
One, two, three, lift with your legs. Gently now, we're going to take him to your left. Here we go. Good, we can put him down just there and down. Thank you again, Tony. You've been quite helpful as usual. <laughs> oh, and good luck. Look at that, over there. It appears as if one of the bullets exited the body and lodged itself in the wall behind it. Good catch. Nice work, Doc. Good catch. Bingo. What's that over there? That's one. Keep up the good work. I should take a photo of this. Your photographs may never make the homepage of a medical journal, but I dare say you have done splendid work, Tony. Thank you, Tony. A bullet went right through this cabinet. We will need to move it to get the slug. Well, don't just stand there. Give me a hand. Pull the cabinet, Tony. Pull. You found it. Well done, Tony. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, Tony. Perhaps Ziva is in need of your assistance. Good catch. Perfect. Tony, have you found that last slug yet? You know the difference between you and a nag? Me neither. I'll find it. Perfect. That was a tricky one. Thank you, Tony. Look what Eagle Eye Denozo just found. Some self-respect? 
I set myself up for that one. No, Ziva. I found the last slug. Good. Now help me set up these lasers so we can triangulate the bullet trajectories. You're welcome, Ziva. Maybe you are good at that after all. Wouldn't you like to know? Well, will you look at that? It looks like there were two shooters. Both of them were very good shots. This guard, however, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, and our dead Marine didn't fire a shot. Dollars to donuts, Abby confirms it. Why do your idioms always involve food? Because I'm usually hungry. Do I have to teach you everything? Not everything. What do you got, Dinozo? Different sets of unidentified footprints, fingerprints on the light switch, and my gut is telling me something interfered with the guard returning fire. Nice work, Dinozo. Now go interview the other guard. Which guard, boss? The one that didn't get killed. Right, boss. Mr. Valesco, Special Agent Dinozo, NCIS, need to ask you a few questions. Sure, yeah. You were on duty this morning when the robbery took place? I was supposed to be. That a yes or a no? All right, I was late, okay? I schedule said two o'clock, but I wasn't here then. Car conked out, it's a piece of crap. Any idea who would want to rob the Lucky Card Casino? Well, it's a casino. Anyone who likes money. But the guy who owns Casino Noir, he's, he's got more interest than most. I'm gonna need a name. His name is Brian Tasca. He's been trying to buy the Lucky Card Casino for years, but the owners wouldn't sell. Word is, he was pretty pissed about it. You were late to work, so you didn't see what happened. Not really. Could you be more specific? I told you I was late. I didn't see nothing. I don't know how many there were. I don't know how they did it, okay? Hey, those are pretty sweet boots. I have a pair just like them. They get the job done. And they don't make my feet sweat. They're trailsman boots, right? Yep. I wear them every night. Anything else you can tell me about the night of the robbery? Like I said, man, the robbers were gone when I got here. Okay. If you think of anything else that might help, Give me a call. Hey boss, 
I just finished interviewing the casino guard, Jason Valesco. And? He says the owner of a rival casino, Brian Tasca, had motive to rob the lucky card. McGee should look this guy up. Right. 